On August 8, 2000, in Beckley, West Virginia, a quiet day turned into a chilling mystery. Natasha Alex Carter, a young girl full of life, and her mother Susan Carter, age 41, disappeared suddenly. There were no hints, no clues, just an unsettling void where they once were. Susan's life with her new husband, Larry Webb, added another layer of complexity to her disappearance. How could a mother and daughter vanish without a trace from the safety of their own home? Was someone they trusted responsible for their disappearance? For Rick Lafferty, Alex's father, it was as if he had suddenly woken up to find his daughter gone as if she had never existed. She didn't call him or get in touch with him. Days passed, then weeks, and then months. But the search for Alex and Susan brought no answers. They seemed to have vanished completely, leaving no clues behind. 24 years. And this case went cold so many times that, you know, I, I almost lost hope several times. I can tell anybody that's in my position, just never give up, never give up hope of finding their child. Rick strongly believed he knew who was responsible for his family's disappearance, but he struggled to convince the authorities to take him seriously. However, sometimes all it takes is one person in the right place to change everything. And Rick didn't give up until he found that person. FBI Special Agent Jennifer King When the United States Marshal Service brought the missing case to the FBI's attention, Rick felt nobody else would listen to him, except for Agent King. It was Agent King who then decided she wouldn't rest until Alex was found. With the help of other law enforcement personnel, she brought new energy to the case, reigniting hope in finding out what had happened to Alex. In the initial stages of her disappearance, people suspected her mother might have taken her and left West Virginia. Because Susan had a rough relationship with Rick and she moved in with Webb at his residence in Beckley. At the time, there was an ongoing custody dispute between Susan and Rick. The FBI's document revealed Susan had told Rick during their custody dispute that he'd never see his daughter again. They also warned the public that Susan might change her appearance and use the alias Susan Galley Carter Webb. Alex's grandmother Shirley Day also remembered Alex saying she was afraid of her mother and didn't want to live with her. I told her, I said, I, I wish things was different for you. And she said, well, my mom, she said, it, it, it's all right. She vividly recalled Alex's testimony in court during the custody battle, where Alex expressed her fears. Rick believed Alex disappeared months before the official missing date listed on posters. He also claimed that Susan didn't show up for the next court hearing, which led to him being granted full custody. But by then, it might have been too late. Even though the poster said Alex was last seen on August 8, 2000, Rick believed she went missing months earlier, soon after Susan's clear warning that he would never see Alex again. The FBI offered a $10,000 reward for information leading to a resolution in the case. Law enforcement officials suspected Susan abducted Alex and a felony warrant for kidnapping was issued for Susan on November 13, 2000. At an FBI press conference, Rick tearfully pleaded for his daughter's return, expressing his longing to have her back home, no matter the circumstances. Twenty years passed since Alex and Susan disappeared, and age progression photos created by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children depicted what Alex and Susan might look like in 2021. Rick suspected Susan's new husband, Larry Webb, might be responsible for Alex's disappearance. The FBI shared this suspicion and executed two search warrants at Webb's home. And that's when they made a chilling discovery. 
During an August 2023 search, officers found a bullet lodged in a remodeled bedroom wall, along with traces of blood. Forensic testing confirmed that the DNA on the bullet matched Alex's, leading to an unsettling realization of the violence that might have occurred. Caregiver Terry Lilly, who looked after Webb, recounted the searches that led to this shocking discovery, emphasizing the significance of the evidence found behind the bedroom wall. They had taken a section of wall out in the time before and came back months, months later and said that uh, after DNA testing, they, uh, they had found a bullet in the wall and blood that had dripped down into the base of the wall. DNA testing shows the uh, related have belonged to the girl. Now DNA testing confirmed that all the collected evidence belonged to the missing girl. Sadly, just days after that interview, Terry passed away. However, investigators also gathered witness statements, further contributing to the mounting evidence against Webb. When asked about the additional evidence leading to the indictment in 2023, authorities were cautious due to the ongoing nature of the investigation. They mentioned DNA evidence and witness statements, but refrained from diverging specific details at that point. One neighbor, whose name wasn't disclosed, had moved to Kyle Lane in 1999 and claimed to have seen a young girl at Webb's house during the summer of 2000. Although he only saw her once, he became suspicious when he noticed a missing child poster in the neighborhood a year later. In 2021, upon learning about the investigation into missing persons, he believed the child he saw was Alex Carter. The neighbor also recalled seeing another woman at Webb's house shortly after Susan and Alex disappeared. This newfound statement was a breakthrough for detectives, redirecting their focus squarely onto Webb for a confession regarding the fate of Alex and her mother. Webb, now elderly, reportedly had dementia, which he allegedly used to his advantage. According to Webb and his caregiver, his memory was failing and he claimed not to remember anything about the disappearance of the mother and daughter. Despite being romantically involved with Susan, he professed love for both her and Alex, strongly denying any involvement in their disappearance. He insisted that he had searched for them over the years and recalled being on a trip when they went missing. However, he believed he had contacted the police in Charleston and Beckley and had undergone a polygraph test in the aftermath, but the results never seemed doubtful. I, I don't know. I, I swear I don't know. I don't have any idea what happened to her. Webb's caregiver cautioned that his memory was unreliable due to the dementia, suggesting that his recollection of events might be flawed. And Webb kept asserting that he loved Susan and Alex deeply, expressing remorse for not being able to find them despite his efforts. Despite his efforts to proclaim his innocence, suspicions continued to mount against Webb. Authorities closely investigated his every word and action in the hope of uncovering the truth. As the investigation drew closer to the truth, the FBI decided to increase the reward for information, raising it from $10,000 to $20,000. However, some wondered if this gesture was too little or too late. And so state police made a significant announcement declaring that Susan was no longer suspected of kidnapping Alex. Tony Rauza of the FBI admitted that mistakes had been made in the investigation at the outset and that they were looking into it. Meanwhile, Rick expressed his frustration towards the responsibility of Wyoming County Sheriff's Departments in this case. He believed that if they had taken his concerns seriously from the beginning, Alex would have still been alive today. If the Wyoming County Sheriff's Department had missed me from the get-go, from the start, from the very beginning, 
this case would have been solved and perhaps Alex would have been alive today if they refused to even write the warrant and refused to even investigate, you know, the disappearance, telling me that they weren't missing, that Alex was with her mother. And I said, well, where's her mother? And they said, the sheriff told me, he said, well, I don't know where her mother is. Um, to me, that's the very definition of missing, is if you don't know where someone is. Despite his pleas, they initially dismissed Alex's disappearance, insisting she was with her mother. Nevertheless, with Susan being declared not a suspect in the kidnapping case, after 23 long years, the case had finally reached a critical point. Now the focus shifted to finding the bodies of Alex and Susan. In October of 2023, two months after the last search warrant, it was determined that Alex had been murdered in her room at Webb's Kyle Lane home. Webb, now in his 80s, was indicted on October 24, 2023 with murder charges for the disappearance of Susan and Alex Carter. Ben Hatfield, the Raleigh County prosecuting attorney, expressed confidence in the case against Webb. Despite Webb's declining health and the legal challenges involved in his arrest, Hatfield was determined to pursue justice for Alex and Susan. Due to Webb's deteriorating health and the legal hurdles associated with obtaining medical clearance for his arrest, his arrest was delayed until April of 2024. The grand jury was presented with the evidence and an indictment was requested. The delays continued for a while, despite efforts to expedite the process, including visits to nursing homes where Webb stayed. However, it was during one of these visits that a breakthrough in the case occurred. On April 24, 2024, Special Investigator Jeff Schott and retired Chief of Detectives from Beckley City Police Department visited the Hilltop Nursing Home, where Webb was residing before a court date. During their conversation, Webb gave a detailed confession. He admitted to shooting Susan Carter after suspecting her of taking cash from his home. The argument that followed led to her death. Webb then confessed to shooting Alex for eliminating the sole witness. According to Webb's confession, he stored the bodies in the basement of his home overnight before burying them in a shallow grave in the woods on his property over the next two nights. He buried them together, clad in their clothes. Webb's confession provided closure to a case that had haunted investigators and the community for over two decades. Despite the challenges faced along the way, the relentless pursuit of justice ultimately prevailed. The confession served as a crucial piece of evidence, shedding light on the events that led to the untimely deaths of Susan and Alex Carter and bringing some peace of closure to their grieving loved ones, especially Rick, who had been waiting to know what happened to his daughter for nearly two long decades. Finally, the confession has been provided. Law enforcement officers were determined to bring little Alex back to her father and find closure for the grieving family. However, Webb's deteriorating health and memory hindered the search efforts. Despite his attempts to guide them to the burial site, Webb was unable to provide an exact location. In a display of unwavering commitment, neighbors Grant and Tammy Newhouse, owners of New Horizons Landscaping, volunteered their time and equipment to assist with the excavation. And we need to know if you will be willing to excavate today, right now. And so we talked, I said, sure. So we put two of our best guys um, Ty Walker and Josh Poe, who are our best excavator operators on it, and within 45 minutes we were digging. They tirelessly combed through Webb's backyard, row by row, until their efforts were rewarded. And on April 11th, 2024, after two days of exhaustive searching, the bodies of Alex and Susan Carter were finally discovered. And then Jennifer yelled, we got them. We found them. He texted me immediately and said, we found them. And there wasn't a dry eye on this property. 
The moment was bittersweet, with the end of a 24-year-long search for closure. Tragically, just hours before the discovery, Webb passed away in prison, escaping the full consequences of his heinous actions. Webb, who was incarcerated at Mount Olive, West Virginia, suffered what police are calling a medical episode. Webb was later pronounced dead at Montgomery General Hospital. According to a press release provided by Captain R.A. Maddy with the West Virginia State Police, Webb's medical emergency began at approximately 10.30 in the morning of April 11, 2024, just a few hours after the remains were found in his backyard. For Rick, Alex's father, the discovery brought a mixture of emotions, relief that his daughter had been found, yet profound sadness at the circumstances of her death. She liked to be carried, so I carried her. Uh, my mom said, you going to carry her when her feet hit the ground, you know? I said, well, yeah, she wants me to. I will. His unwavering belief that one day she would come home had finally been realized, albeit in the most devastating way possible. As the case comes to a close, there is a glimmer of hope that the Carters can find some semblance of peace, knowing that Alex and her mother can finally be laid to rest. <laughs>